Genesis chapter 4. And the man experienced Hawa, his woman, and she conceived and bare Qain and said, I have gotten a man with the help of Yahweh. And again she bare his brother Hebel, and Hebel was a keeper of sheep, but Qain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time it was that Qayyin brought of the fruit of the ground an offering to Yahweh. And Hevel, he had brought also he of the firstlings of his flock and from their fat. And Yahweh had respect to Hevel and to his offering. But to Qayyin and to his offering he had not respect. And Qayyin was very wroth and his countenance fell. And Yahweh said to Qayn, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shall it not be lifted up? And if thou doest not well, sin coucheth at the door, and to thee shall be its lunge, but thou, thou shalt rule in the midst of it. And Qayn told Hevel his brother, and it was, when they were in the field, that Qayyin rose up against Hevel his brother and slew him. And Yahweh said to Qayyin, Where is Hevel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth to me from the ground. And now, cursed art thou from the ground which hath opened its mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield to thee its strength. A fugitive and a wanderer shalt thou be in the earth. And Qayyin said to Yahweh, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the ground, and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer in the earth. And it will be that whosoever findeth me will slay me. And Yahweh said to him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Qayyin, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And Yahweh appointed a sign for Qayyin, lest any finding him should smite him. And Qayyin went out from the presence of Yahweh and dwelt in the land of Nord, on the east of Ridden. And Qayyin experienced his woman, and she conceived and bare Hanok. And he builded a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Hanok. And to Hanok was born Eirad, and Eirad begat Mahuyael, and Mahuyael begat Methushael, and Methushael begat Lemech, and Lemech took to him two women. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other Elah, and Ada bare Yabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents and have cattle, and his brother's name was Yubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and pipe. And Thillah she also bare Tuvalqayin, the forger of every cutting instrument of brass and iron. And the sister of Tuvalqayin was Naama. And Lemek said to his women, Ada and Thillah, hear my voice, ye women of Lemek, hearken to my speech, for I have slain a man for wounding me, and a young man for bruising me. If Qayyin shall be avenged sevenfold, also Lemech, seventy and sevenfold. And Adam experienced his woman again, and she bare a son, and called his name Sheth. For, said she, God hath appointed me another seed instead of Hevel, for Qayyin slew him. And to Sheth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Anosh. 
this one began to call upon the name of Yahweh. 